Welcome to episode 1239, Seth Klarman, Margin of Safety Billionaire, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1239, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, his mentors are Max Hine and Michael Price. My background was I, I had worked for a couple of years at Mutual Shares. Mutual Shares was run at that point by Max Heine, and when I started it was a $40 million no-load mutual fund applying value investing principles. When I left, a couple of years later, it was $200 million. I learned an enormous amount there, uh, probably more than I learned in my, in my uh, subsequent two years at business school. Lesson two, he started Paul Post in 1982 with little experience. Paul Post, with four other Harvard professors, his starting salary was $35,000. It was 25 years. Lesson three, look for mispricing and crisis. He summarized their approach by saying, if you had to use one word for our approach, it would be either mispricings, situations when the market gets something wrong. Baupus prefers messy situations, which are far too complex for most people to get. Lesson four, don't be greedy. But what I, what I really think is, you need not to be greedy. If, you, if you're greedy and you leverage, you blow up. Almost every financial blow up is because of leverage. And five, he wrote Margin of Safety book in 1991, which is the cornerstone of Ben Graham's book, The Intelligent Investor. The book that it would be good for business, that, that um, we were a little firm in a small building sublet from Bill Pourvu. We ever wanted to, to grow the firm or we ever had a bad spell, and, and we needed to find some new clients. Lesson six, Bob Post wants to be the best, not the biggest, or the most profitable. Company is to be excellent, not to be the biggest, not to be the most profitable, to do the best possible job. And we turn away clients. We've been close to new clients for years. Um, we don't charge the highest fee we could get away with charging. We keep our fees where they've been for years and years. What drives us is that determination to do an excellent job, to be proud of what we do. Seven, focus on absolute return. The world is oriented towards relative performance. It's one of the giant weaknesses in the investment world. Um, all the big mutual funds are focused on competing against each other, competing against the market. So they're looking at relative numbers. In contrast, we think wealthy uh, individuals and established institutions, because of the risk aversion, are actually interested in absolute returns. As an aid, psychology is more difficult than stock analysis. It's worth. I think that the, the analysis is actually the easy part. Uh, when, I, when I speak to business school students, I tell them investing is the intersection of economics and psychology. The economics, the valuation of a business is not that hard. The psychology, how much do you buy? Do you buy it at this price? Do you wait for a lower price? What do you do when, when it looks like the world might end? Those things are harder. Lesson nine, skin in the game. Now, what does it mean? It means your interests and the client's interests are symmetrical. Um, putting our own money alongside our client's capital. They collectively, the partners in our firm are, are the largest client in the firm and we don't allow people to have a lot of their capital outside the firm or active trading accounts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.